Look at that. We made, it's 9.02. We're not even that late. I'm not even surprised because we couldn't wait to get back up to the room. <sighs> you guys, there is something, like, we talk a big game. Like, we're going to party, whatever. Not that we really said we're going to party. We never said we were going to party. I mean, the fact that it's 9 o'clock, I don't know about you, but I am in bed earlier than I would be at my house. Um, yeah, this is comparable. I mean, usually, this is like when I turn back into a pumpkin. I, I get really cranky. Like, I need to be in bed, but usually it's not until, like, 10, 30, 11 o'clock. So the fact that we are in, in bed at 9 o'clock in our hotel cozy robes. It's so good. There are it's no so There good. are no children. It is so good. No other people. It's just us. We just had dinner we alone. We just had a dinner. We had a dinner. It wasn't a dinner. It was, like, an ex it was a food it, experience. It was. It was an experience. It was. We ate at Point Royale. We did. We ate all the food. All the food. All the food. I, you we, know. we are we are happy to announce that we are both expecting food babies. Yes, I'm due tomorrow. Hopefully, <laughs> we're both expecting um, food babies. This thing out of me. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you need an epidural? Something. Something. Um, we but, really went balls to the wall. The lovely marketing director of um, the Diplomat who took us on our tour earlier was like, "Look, we want you guys to." try and indulge and know everything there is to know about our amazing restaurants. So we were like, say oh, no more. Okay, We got it. We, got it. we take our job very seriously. You we have took the that right, as a challenge. You have the right people. Mission accepted. Yes. And so yes. we may have ordered one of everything. Oh, you guys, but it was so, what was your favorite? Um, I, I love tuna tartare. So for me, it was like, this was a real true seafood restaurant. The yeah. oysters and the tuna were as fresh as it gets. It wasn't like that, like, mm, I don't know how good this is. It was... No, it was phenomenal. Beyond. It yeah. was really good. I, I love the tuna that was up there, and my other favorite was the ricotta dumplings with king crab. Oh. Oh, and then we had a last king crab, butter crab, and then we had this burger thing that was described to us as the best burger in the world, and so we were like, okay, we'll share that. Yeah, So we fine. shared a burger. Sign us up. Okay. Um, Brussels sprouts. Sounds good, Pablo. Almost that was our waiter's name. Because they were the best Brussels sprouts I've ever had They ever. were delicious. I can't, like, they were braised with, like, the blood of Jesus and <laughs> hope and divinity. That's what they were. <laughs> I heard the angels sing as they brought them out. Did my you? extremities got weak okay. and my nipples tingled. Okay. And that's All how right. I felt I mean, about the it Brussels just took Brussels sprouts. It's, there you go. Just took Brussels sprouts. I'll tell you, I do, you know, I don't want to make this seem like, oh, life is perfect. I have one issue with this place. What? They don't have the kind of tonic that I like. Oh, but that, yeah, you, you have a very specific, I you're a creature of habit. She is like, I, I, Michelle is as young and fresh as they come, but when it comes to her drinking habits, she is like a Nana. She is. I am a 65 year old yeah. man coming off the train after mm -hmm. a long day on the stock market who wants a stiff drink. Mm -hmm. like, I want my drink a certain way. And so not just a certain way. You like a certain kind of gin. Like you... I could taste the difference between all gins. Nobody drinks gin but me. Like all my friends make fun of me. People drink like vodka and tequila like normal people. I like my gin. Yeah. And more so in Colorado, I was... My, my palate was <laughs> <laughs> blessed by St. George Spirits, which they have nowhere except for like really... I don't even know what that is. I'm not right. a gin drinker. I, I didn't either. Even... No. Let me tell you. Spencer no and clue. I went to this place in Boulder, right? We found this restaurant. We're like... Oh my God, we discovered a hidden gem. We're <laughs> freaking out. We look it up online. It's in like every major metropolitan <laughs> city from here to like Bangladesh. It's like a yard house. It's like, a yard, it's like the yard house in Boulder. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, and then on top of that, I ordered a gin and tonic and I ordered my tangeray and tonic and the waiter was like, oh, we have this gin. You have to try it. I'm like, okay, I'm down. I'm in Colorado. It also tasted like Jesus came oh, down. Oh, wait, look who's here. Oh, but that's a big girl. deal because it's nine o'clock. It's like past her bedtime. Well, she missed her earlier one, right. so okay. I, I expect nothing less. So Continue. back to my story. Yeah. So um, this gin also tasted like Jesus himself came <laughs> down and picked flowers and ground Elder them up. Flowers? And by the way, I'm a Jew, but I like when Jesus <laughs> does things for me. And so, Jesus was a Jew. Right. And so he picked elder flowers and juniper and ground them into this drink. Right. And I'm like. Spencer's like, oh my God, it's like perfume. And I'm like, oh my God. And I'm like, this can't be Schweppes tonic. I'm going to go to the bar and I'm going to find out they artisanally handmade their own tonic, right? So on top of the fact that I think I'm in this one-of-a-kind restaurant that nobody's ever heard of, I march myself to the bar and I'm like, 
I just got to know <laughs> what kind of tonic is this? And he Seagrams? holds up, he holds up the gun from the bar and he's oh, like, yeah, good stuff. The good stuff. Schweppes. Yeah. And I'm like, well, that's my thing. I just wanted to know. Maybe, to make sure it, maybe it was the altitude. I don't know what it, or the, you know, maybe it was altitude. Colorado. Um, but anyway, so they don't have that here, but that's fine. I'm still, so I, I can't, I improvised instead of tonic. I just said, give me some Sprite with my Tangeray. And it's the same thing. It's great. I love, I'm very happy. I love how my mom is saying, are you in bed already? Mom. No. You go to bed, club. you go to bed at seven 30. Like it's nine o'clock. Yes. We are in bed because we are taking advantage of the fact that we have no responsibilities. Today, when I left the house. And also, I couldn't stay in my dress anymore without the We needed to unzip. Thing. We needed yeah. to unzip and free everything. We needed to free the whole <laughs> situation and just be in robes because yeah. it was that kind of meal. But I have not been, I was telling Michelle, I have not been back here since it was a Weston. Um, when, when it start, when this hotel opened, it was like the place to be. Everyone came to the bar and hung out. I have not been here for years. I have to tell you what she said. They did like a hundred million dollars. Hundred million dollar renovation. It is so beautiful. It's so just luxurious, but not in like a stuffy way. And there is like families, and there's couples, and there's every there's like everyone it's here. Very chic, but like beachy chic, and it yeah. doesn't feel unapproachable and like too over the top, like maybe a South Beach hotel. Mm -hmm. Like it's cool where you want to look at everything, and you're like, wow, how they think to design it like that, but still laid back and awesome. Like it's very low key, very low key. Yeah very millennial. Mm -hmm. um, they have lots of little hidden gems in different places. They have this hidden, really cool private karaoke area where you can go with your friends Maybe and we'll have be a there private tomorrow. karaoke room. I don't know. I, I'll go if Arlene shows up. <laughs> How about that? Um, Tough life, ladies. Heavenly bed. bed. Yeah, we got a giant California king here. We are. It's not a California king. It's a king, but I just want to say that to make it sound better. It's actually. Just it's fine. We have a beautiful suite, and we are. We listen. We're making all these jokes, but we are very grateful and very lucky and happy. But we also worked our asses off. Like this didn't just happen. This happened after a year of us hitting the pavement and yeah. doing our live videos for free everywhere we went. Yeah. And also big shout out to Rachel Mizrahi for taking a chance on these two. Seriously. These two mamas. She with something kind of to she say. made us a little bit. She's our she's our road manager. Yeah, she like, is. She's our road manager. Rachel she Mizrahi, is. if you're watching this, um we love you. You're our we owe you. Yeah. We for owe real. you big time. You so, and that baby you're cooking. So you are entitled to come meet us for You a should name the Keep It Real Moms the godmothers of that baby. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying. We could both be like one godmother. Right. If you there's someone else you really right. care about. Right. Um, but I'm showing up to your baby shower with something very special. We're gonna have to talk about that off camera. Okay. Okay. Um, mom, what time is karaoke? I don't know. I don't know what time it starts. I'm guessing Listen. it's we're probably already gonna be in bed again. Listen, we're not gonna <laughs> lie. Here's the situation. We both work really hard during the week. We, we have kids, we have jobs, we have houses that we're running. It is a lot. And as a mother, and I think one of the reasons, one of the biggest drivers for doing this is because any mother, and you said this earlier, I don't remember how you said it, but I'm going to reiterate in my own words, any mother who cannot admit that every once in a while you need that break from life, you need that break from your kids, you need to break from liar. your house is lying because... I think that you, especially with girlfriends, you need to be, with, we, we laughed so much at dinner tonight, just talking about nothing. We were talking about just life and things, nothing, no work stuff. We were just enjoying each other. And I think that women and mothers, especially, you have to have that time. You have to have that time where you take care of it yourself. Is, and it is rejuvenating mm -hmm. in a way. And even if, you know, you don't need to get on a plane and go to the next hottest resort in the Dominican Republic. Mm -hmm. Like we live where other people vacation. And I say that I love when people like hashtag that, but it's true. Right. I'm a mile from some of the most beautiful beaches in the world. And we have this resort at our fingertips. We don't have to go to South beach. We don't have to go up to Fort Lauderdale or mm -hmm. Palm beach. We're in Hollywood. Like I technically could have walked here from where my boyfriend lives and been fine. Um, just the fact that we get the opportunity to really disconnect, like there's no better, you could put me under a bridge with a girlfriend and no responsibility and I'm mm -hmm. happy. So to do it here is incredible. It is. And it's not, I think it's important to hashtag blessed your mom. Said. Blessed yeah. AF. Yes. I think it's important to acknowledge that though. I think that 
we take on so much as parents and mothers. We bear the brunt of so many things that go on in our lives with our children and our families. And we need that like time out a little bit. I love my husband. I do. I love my children, but it is nice to not have to change a diaper, to not have to fold any laundry, to not have to worry about feeding someone who's going to change their mind a million times. So it's okay to like admit that you guys. Um, it's okay. Like you're not, the world's not going to implode. No one's going to think you're a bad parent. This is like heaven right now. We're not even doing anything crazy. We're sitting, we're sitting in a uh, two drinks, mm -hmm. a whole lot of food, a lot of food. I couldn't wait to come off, come upstairs, take off my shoes and my bra. We unzipped before rope. we even walked in the door. We, we were unzipping. We I still had my purse in my hand, uh -huh. like while I yeah. was unzipping. Mm -hmm. But it's just one of those things where like you give and you give and you give, you know, for me as a business owner, I'm giving of myself all day every day to my team to my clients to every little idea that comes in my head that I need to then execute or act on it's I'm constantly giving and then the hours that I'm not working I'm obviously going above and beyond for my daughter because I love it but like from the beginning of the week it's like oh my god because I knew at a certain point it would just be like zero mm -hmm. like nothing I wanted to be at level zero well you feel yourself check out mentally a little bit right like you feel when you reach that limit where you're like I am going to literally fry yeah if I do not take a step back and just like... and I was talking to somebody this week who was like oh you're going to the diplomat how exciting you're gonna be with your best friend you're so excited. I said am I boring you no I'm exhausted okay, I, I said sure. the best part you asked me that on our first live ever I did you did I'm not bored I'm just exhausted um but somebody was like, fine. oh, that's so exciting. You and your friend just get to like party and enjoy each other all weekend. I'm like, you understand? She's my best friend because I could sit there in silence like a mother effing right, monk. Right. And she would get it. I mean, we literally, listen, let's not, there are a lot of things to do here. Yes, we could be downstairs at the bar. Yes, we, there's live music there's outside. There's live music out by the pool and right now. We could do all of that. But if we're being really authentic and honest, we're not there because of our hair. It is so humid outside. That we already, Rachel told me the minute we got it, we're not going outdoors, not even for a picture. <laughs> well, wait, we did try. We walked out. No, no, no like, we didn't walk out. We were I like, no, 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 no. We, we pivoted. The we thing did. is that I got my hair done today, and I so the did first I. Day, it's done. It's dead. The first day is critical, so these curls will last a long no, time mine's, if mine's, the first day goes well. Mine's being washed again. And it's out. like, or maybe I'll get blown out. Yeah, it's it's bad. Oh, speaking of nails, I wanna I wanna talk about something there's all this like buzz about the newest nail trend i'm not into and how Ky no no but just hear I've me out the same and how six months. kylie jenner is is you know saying she's wearing white nail polish so white nail polish in listen i have white nail polish but i want to tell you something guess who's been wearing white out on her nails since like middle school okay kylie jenner all right so take that trend take to the that bank. billion dollars yeah, and, yeah. yeah. thank mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. hi susan um what else do we want to talk about tonight so be careful. You're going to show boobies. You're, show, you're starting to show boobies. Yeah, All right. Like just it. be careful. I don't want you to do anything that you'll regret. Nothing goes off the internet. No ever. regrets of the diplomat. I'm having these conversations with my older daughter now because she's into like musically and all those things. And I keep having to tell her, listen, when you put something on there, it's there. It's there. And she was like, what? And I go, yeah, even if you delete it, it, it lives somewhere. So like you have to make sure that anything you put online, you're not going to be like, oh God, I wish you didn't do that. It's like, I can't believe that I'm having those conversations because that's what happens when you have a nine year old. You're going to be there. It's gonna well, I'm not there yet. So I have, can I side note for a sec? Yeah. We looked like absolute milfs this evening. We did? We looked Did really we take good. enough pictures? No, because we refused to go outside and ruin right. our hair, but we it's going to be worth it yeah. when our hair looks good in our cabana tomorrow. My hair is not, my hair is not great. Gonna, I don't, I don't even know, know what you're saying. I don't know, you guys. Thank you, Lux Style Board. I mean, no, it looked great when I got it done. And then I came in and all of a sudden it was like, you know, like deflated, like a balloon. Mine's good. Yours is always good. You have good hair. Um, a couple other things too. They were telling us when we were doing our tour, which both of us were like, oh, they have babysitting here, which I know a lot of hotels have, but like they have babysitting here. They have completely dedicated areas for the kids, a whole new like water slide area. This is like, I didn't, I did not know that this even was going on. Yeah. And we've said it multiple times, almost to the point of being obnoxious. We're like, I can't believe this is here. I can't believe this is going on. Like this is. And I wasn't trying to be facetious. Like, no. And I come here a lot, but I go straight to monkey tail for dinner usually and have a drink at the bar. And then that's it. Like I'm bar monkey tail and I'm out. There are, I started to say earlier, pockets and corners of this mm -hmm. place. There is an old fashioned ice cream and candy store. Oh, we forgot to go there. We didn't need to go there. We'll go tomorrow. Okay. We'll go tomorrow. Okay. Okay. There's that. There's the karaoke. There's all, there's a little place called Canteen. They have this own little market. They don't do, um, 
in room um, mini bars anymore that they want people to shop downstairs at mm -hmm. this place to bring stuff to their room. So they give you these tokens that, you know, you're allowed to get a few things for your room. It's all organic and amazing. And they have, they have Justin's stuff. peanut butter cups. I was told right. the second I it's saw it. It's like those, a tiny Whole Foods. It is. And they have like, it's very purposeful. Like she was pointing out to us, they have products made by women owned companies. Like it's a very, very socially conscious store. It's not like walking into one of those like convenience stores where you pay $30 for, for chips. Ahoy. Right. Right. They no. have like legit stuff. It's, it's, it's no, going to be a ain't, good. This ain't no generic no. Uh, motel here. No, um, but we are really, they pulled out all the stops for us. They could not have been more hospitable. Everyone is so friendly. We were saying that too. Like the staff is so friendly. Like everyone is, it's not just low key. Everyone is super approachable and just nice and warm. And you, you know, want to know what my favorite part is. They gave us an itinerary. Yeah. Besides oh. that, they gave us an itinerary of things to do. And they want us to be so relaxed that all of our meal times tomorrow during the day, like it tells us like all the restaurants there are, we get to go at You're our gonna leisure. Say it. I knew you were going to say it. I knew you were going to say leisure. You're from, <laughs> you're from Rockville Center. You are not from Notting Hill, okay? You are from Rockville Center. It's leisure. What is it's your leisure. problem with leisure? Does your mother say leisure? There's no way Margie says leisure. It's leisure. So we get to wake up at our leisure, <laughs> go have breakfast somewhere, wherever we want. And we can have 17 breakfasts, they said. 17. We can do whatever we well, want. Well, when we were leaving Point by Hell, he was like, come back. We're like, yep, we'll see you tomorrow for breakfast. <laughs> see you tomorrow. But I'm going to make a prediction right now. So we talked about what, so we should, what should we do for breakfast tomorrow? Should we go to like the little counter Starbucks and grab no. like a pastry? Or should we go and have like real breakfast? And Michelle's words were, I don't really eat a lot for breakfast. I want like eggs and fruit. Mark my words, when we get there tomorrow and there's stuff going on, you're going to be like, oh, I'll just have, I'm going to have a bite. I'm just going to try it. That's it. Like, YOLO. I'm just going to try it. That is what's going to happen. I know. She knows me well. I know. But it's because we're on vacation, staycation. We are. The fact that my house is like so close by is crazy to me. Do you remember when I asked you if we should bring clothes to work out? <laughs> I almost brought them just to trip you out. So two days ago, I get a call from this one. Hey, we didn't even talk about what we're going to pack. And I'm like, I don't know about you, but I haven't had a top second to think about it. Yeah. I didn't pack till right before I came here today. Same, same. And she's like, well, I just need to know, like, what are you thinking? Like, are we packing workout clothes? And I was like, excuse me, what? <laughs> Come again? I, we're, I don't, who are you going on vacation with? Like, I, <laughs> I work out I during the been, week. I could have and I totally agree with you, but I, if you would have said to me, do you want to maybe like go and walk on the treadmill, walk on the beach? I would have been like, okay. I probably could have been talked into it. Would it have been my first choice? No, because I'm on vacation too. But like, I don't know. I, I could have done it. But when you were like, we're not working out, I was like, she is right. Let me tell you something. She's right. Monday we're not working Friday, out. I'm eating salad, the salad bags yes, that I like. We love bags of salad. You salad guys. bags. The Taylor Farms. Egg whites. Uh -huh. And I'm working out with Allie. I love you, Allie. I have something to say about that too. And I'm walking the circle like a mad woman. I do my fair share. Mm -hmm. Don't expect me to come on my luxurious staycation uh, hosted right. by the diplomat and, and waste. All right, CTFD. Okay. I'm not making it work out. All right, anyway. I'm not but so my out. answer to her was like, oh, who do you think you're going right? Right, I with? said, you're right. You're right. And I get here and we walk in and we have two giant gift baskets for us. One, I thought they were both like one was for me and one was for her. No. There was one for the both of us, courtesy of the diplomat, and then one for me, for my trainer, Allie. It's almost like she knew I was going to be a slob this weekend <laughs> and wanted to contribute. Thank you, Allie. That was very sweet. Really sweet. So it's for you. I'm not allowed to have any. Do I get the other one? You get the other one. Okay. Fine. Fine. Um, anything else you want to talk about? We can talk about how fast we can find HGTV on this big we're gonna find TV something here. this is how this is how moms really rage okay we don't go out and sit at the bar well some do and it's fine if that's your thing and you know why because I still feel the bra line and it's like until that bra line goes away like I can't even do anything else well we're gonna rage by watching television together while we snuggle in bed but I have something for you first what is this I don't know you should read it really mm -hmm. are you proposing kind of you have to read that loud though what is that? Just read it out loud. Michelle and Rachel, we hope you're enjoying your evening. You spelled your wrong. You did the wrong. Oh, I did. If you choose, you can forego your individual rooms and stay as a couple in our fantasy suite. Chris Harrison. I don't know who Chris Harrison is. Oh, is that like a Bachelor thing? That is the host of The Bachelor and The Bachelorette. That's the note that everybody gets. Well, this is our fantasy suite. So we are foregoing our 
individual rooms and staying as a couple. We're bringing our relationship. Do I have to give you a rose or you give me a rose? No, it's fine. I don't, I don't need it. You can just buy me an ice cream sandwich tomorrow. I'm going to buy myself one. I'll uh -huh. get you one too. You've been a good girl. Thank you. Thank great. you. Anyway, like I said, we looked like MILFs tonight, so stay tuned for our photos. Yeah, we gotta, we, we, we're not really going to go to bed right now. We're going to probably lay in bed and scroll through Instagram and Facebook while we lay next to each other silently. <laughs> but this is why it's great to be with her because it's socially acceptable. You're not being like a rude friend. Totally. Do wait, you wait. accept yeah, Right. Group? See, Rachel knows. I'm sorry. I've never watched the show. You are really missing out. No, I watch like true crime dramas and like. I know, but sometimes don't you want to just like watch junk? No. Oh, I do. No, I already am out of patience for Housewives. Like, oh, can't do Kardashians. I, I, no, I don't like Kardashians. But I, I like the gruesome, like, yeah, no. docus mm -hmm. about like killers and no, like. Oh, no. I can't. Deals. Let me tell you something about I me. I should be studied. Like, let me, it's weird. Let me tell you something about me. When I see the trailers, just the trailers for those like scary movies, like horror movies, I have nightmares from the trailers. I can't even see the trailers. Hey, can we get off the phone? My boyfriend's calling. No, my husband just signed up. Oh, it's so funny. They did at the same time. <laughs> you guys. Can I answer the phone? Yeah. Hi, honey. I'll just, it's fine. Shall I just answer the phone? And I'll just sit here and talk to you guys. Right Babe, now. is the baby asleep we're, peacefully? We're in bed. Already. Just say yes or no. Um, and thank you, seriously, like, not thank you. I don't want to say thank you. I read an article the other day that someone posted that I shared about that. how, um, women are very quick to like always be thanking our husbands or boyfriends or partners or whatever for picking up the slack when we have to do things or travel. You're killing me over there. You are killing me. I'm sorry. You are killing me. Um, we always are thanking our partners for, you know, picking up the slack and I had to travel. I went to New York for work and, and a few weeks, a couple weeks ago and Jason was home alone with the baby and we had all kinds of like sitters, all this stuff. And this woman wrote um, a piece that I shared on Wine and Cheez-Its about how she, her immediate reaction whenever her husband did something that she normally did was to like jump up and scream from the rooftops to thank him. And then she like talked herself down and she said, you know what? I'm not going to thank him. And it's not because I don't appreciate it, but we're partners. Like we do these things together. Just like I pick up the slack if he has to work. He's very supportive of my career and I shouldn't have to like write a formal thank you letter. And I totally agree. And I think that we are so conditioned as women to do that all the time because so much falls on us that we're like, thank you so much for doing it. Thank you for entering the dishwasher. Thank you. No, no more thank yous because yes and no, because praise, positive reinforcement. That's not what I'm talking about. I agree with you a thousand percent on okay. that. A thousand we percent. Just holding hands. I think himself. I think you always have to praise each other. My point is, is when there's things that are part of like running a normal household, right. someone doesn't deserve a reward for doing things for like a house that you share together. Like that's just that. common. Hold on, I'm scratching her back. Wait, is there a certain way that I need to do it? Oh, I'm not Bella. Oh yeah. Okay, okay. 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 Um, but anyway, so but Jason is holding down the fort and um, is very supportive, and I do appreciate that. And so. Jason, your husband numero uno. And numero it's only because uno. I don't have a husband, so you get to be husband numero uno. He's like, it's like when you have sister wives and sister, well, there's no that's, sister husbands. He's the first husband. Right. So, babe, that's good because if you're in a polygamous Praise relationship, be. you want to be the first. Praise be. You want to be number May one. the Lord open. Yeah. All right, guys. That's I think it. we're going to we're gonna go over. watch something about building houses or cooking food or something Decorating. while we scroll through social media. Tune in tomorrow. Our next live is 11 a.m. from 11 our VIP pool cabana. The cabanas here are designed by Trina Turk. Yeah, bomb. That's right. Bomb. And we have one, and we're going to lay in it, and we're not going to hate it, and it's going to be amazing, and we're going to go live from there at 11. We'll show you a little bit more of the surroundings, and um, stay, we've been posting on the Keep It Real Moms Insta, so if you check there, there's a bunch of stuff in our stories, and there'll be more stuff towards the end of the weekend, but definitely stay checked in to see what we're up to. And thank you guys so much yawning. for tuning in. Thank keep, you. You keep yawning. And we'll see you guys all tomorrow. Shabbat shalom. Yep. Hi. <laughs>